but to listen to the word of God. And the word is coming from no other person but missionary Lisa Goodwin. Just praise the Lord. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God for his goodness and his mercy. Allow us to come into his house one more time. I'm just going to sing this song. I found a friend who is all to me. His love is
God is a wonder in our lives and he keeps on doing great things for us over and over again. And we can't help but to serve him, to give him the glory and to give him the honor because he keeps on doing great things for us. Even though sometimes we don't deserve it, he still keeps on doing great things for us. He gives us, shows mercy and grace and compassion towards us. Praise the Lord. Praise, him. Praise the Lord. I thank God for allowing me to come here. I thank God for allowing me to be in this place. I don't take it lightly. And I just pray that uh, I will be able to give to you what God has given to me effectively. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Let us turn to Mark chapter 5. Praise the Lord. Starting at uh, Mark chapter 5. We'll start at verse 21. Praise the Lord. And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto other, the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was not unto the sea. And behold, there came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus, by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood 12 years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Yeah. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee and saying thou, Who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so, I was, as I was um, searching and praying, the title of the, or theme of the message that, or words of encouragement that I'm going to give today is faith moves the Father. Praise the Lord. Praise faith moves the Father. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise God. So, let's turn to Romans chapter 10. Verse 17. Romans chapter 10. Verse 17. And it says, So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith 
being that faith grows out of the word of God. Yes. When we hear the word, when we read the word, and we um, know what God has planned for us, yeah. it increases our faith. Right. So, and when we, when our faith is increased, we act upon that faith. And that's exactly what the woman in Mark chapter 5 did, the woman with the issue of blood, yes. as we call her. Amen. The woman with the issue of blood. Yes. It says she had this issue for 12 years. And she went to doctors and she went to physicians and nothing got better. Actually, it on, in verse uh, 26 it says, it just grew worse. Mm -hmm. So she was in a bad condition for 12 years and it wasn't getting any better. It was just getting worse and worse and worse. So I believe it's safe to say that at this point, she's at her last end. She doesn't really know what to do. Until she heard about Jesus, that he was, you know, in town, he was, you know, doing miracles. So she made up in her mind that I guess she's maybe she said to herself, This is my last, this is my last hope. Yeah. If this doesn't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. So she made it up in her mind that she had to, she didn't even want him to touch her. Yeah. You know, every God, um, Jesus was going about laying hands on people, sometimes speaking to people, and they would be healed. But she didn't even want that. She just wanted to touch. Yes, yes. Just not even him. She just wanted to touch. Yes. His the hem of his garment. Yes. That's how much faith she had. Yes. She she had enough faith yes. to believe that if if I just touch his clothes, yes. I'm going to be made whole. Yes. And that's the kind of faith that we should have. Yes. She had that right now faith. Yes. And that's what faith is. Yes. Faith is now. Right faith now. says, I receive it now. Right. I believe it now. I'm, I'm healed right now. Oh, yes. That's the kind of faith that we're supposed to have. And when we have that kind of faith, it moves the Father and He works on our behalf. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. We in, in our, when we're sick in our bodies, we say, I speak healing into my body right now yes. and believe that whatever, whatever whatsoever we speak yes. is going to happen right. and in Mark let's go over to Mark chapter 11 verse 24 that says that therefore I say unto you what thing soever ye desire when ye pray, believe. So that's telling us that when we pray, we have to believe. We have to have some faith. Yes, yes. That ye receive them and ye shall have them. It doesn't say ye might have them. It says ye shall have them. But there are some that is one condition. And the only condition is for us to believe. Yes. So oh, in this scripture right here, yes. this is the word. Yes. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, yes. when ye pray, believe yes. that ye receive them Hallelujah. and ye shall have them because faith moves the Father. Glory. And when you have that belief and when you have that right now faith you're going to move the father just as she did yes. her faith was so strong that Jesus felt the virtue go out of him yes. and she didn't touch him like I said she just touched 
his garment. But her faith was so strong for her healing that instantaneously, as soon as she touched him, she was made whole. So that's the kind of faith that we have when we're going through our trials and tribulations and we need something from God. We have to have that right now faith. If we want to move the Father, we have to have that right now faith. We don't want to be like dumb Thomas. You know, when, they, when the word came that Jesus had risen, he didn't believe. He said, I need to be able to put my hand, I need to first see him, and I need to put my hands in his side. And that's not faith. See, if you have to see it before it happens, that's not faith. Waiting until you see something before you believe it, that's not faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if you if you already see it, there's no reason to have faith for it. But that's what faith is. We have to believe the things that are not seen that they are going to be. Praise the Lord. And we have our theme, our theme for this was it was the same thing for last month, and it's the Thing for this month, the same thing. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing. So when I was looking at that, I said, Well, what is hope? What is the hope that we're looking for? The hope that we're looking for for the blessed hope is the return of Jesus Christ. The resurrection of those saints who died in Christ and the rapture of us that will still be living yes. to, to be caught up to meet Christ in the air. Yes. That's the blessed hope. Yes. So when we think about hope, Hallelujah. We, the hope is something that we are looking forward to. Yes. Yes. Something in a future tense. Right. And it's always good to have hope because that's the scripture. Our um, theme scripture in Titus Looking for the blessed hope. There are things that we hope for. But when it comes to faith, the hope, we, we prepare it. So we're preparing for the blessed hope. As we are here in church, as we are walk day by day and we follow the word and do what God tells us to do through the word. That's how we prepare for that blessed hope. That's how we are looking forward to that blessed hope. And we know that if we do the things that we're supposed to do down here on earth, as we look forward to that blessed hope, then one day we that blessed hope will come to fruition. Right. But the faith is but faith is right now. It's right. instantaneous. It's within the moment. Right now. So hope is different from faith. Both of them are good to have. But when you when you're in prayer and you're seeking God for something, you what you need to have is faith. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Praise the Lord. When we pray and we need an answer, we look. We have to have the right now faith. Yes. We need to, to faith to move God, move the Father. Lord. So you know, even in like when we we're in when we're in service, if we're in service here, yes. and the Spirit is moving. It's, we have to grab a hold of to faith and just reach out to God and whatever we need, it doesn't have to, we don't have to wait till the altar call for the ministers to lay hands on us, even though that is good. But if we, within our spirit, reach up to God in the spirit and He and speak our desires that we have, God will hear that. Oh, yeah. God, God will touch us. Yeah. And we, when we touch God, something has to happen. Amen. Just yeah. like when the woman touched Jesus. Yes. She touched him. She touched his garment. Yes. And something happened. Yes. The virtue came out of him. Yes. And the scripture says um, that immediately yes. let's go back to this. Yes. Straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up. Yes. At 
after 12 long years, the faith that she had just from touching the hem of his garment, yes. the, the fountain of her blood was dried up That's because right. she had faith that moved the Father. Right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. When we look forward to the blessed hope that God has for us, yeah. we are preparing ourselves one number one also with faith because we have to have the faith to walk circumspectly we have to have the faith to believe the word and when we believe the word the word will cause things to grow in us when, when, when that's why it's so important to read the word the scripture says study to show thyself approved a workman needed not to be ashamed so we have to study to show ourselves the proof. We can't just only pick up the Bible on Sunday when it's time to read the scripture. We have to have the word because the enemy, like a sister, sister was saying in the um, testimony service, the enemy is running rampant and he will come at you with all kind of darts. And if you don't know the word, you will fall for his tactics. So we have to build ourselves up on this faith and we cannot let the enemy, we have to let the word be in our hearts and do the work and build up our faith. And when the word builds up our faith, yes. then we can yes. be able to do things in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Let's turn to Acts chapter 2. Glory. Acts chapter 2. Verse 38. We know it well. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. What does that say? And ye might shall and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Once again there are conditions but there's, it, it's a definite ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. All you have to do is repent and be baptized yes. in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus Christ and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That is an act of faith. The Holy Ghost has already been poured out. The Holy Ghost was poured out on the day of Pentecost. Yes. The Holy Ghost is a gift yes. and when we receive the Holy Ghost it's by faith. It's by faith that we receive the Holy Ghost. And the same way when we are sick and we come to the altar to get prayer, and when we receive prayer, yeah. we expect, we, we leave the altar with an expectation of being healed. Right. We leave Hallelujah. the altar with expectation of deliverance. Yeah. The same way it should be with the receiving of the gift of the Holy Ghost. We should, the Holy Ghost can come in different ways. The Holy Ghost can come through laying on of hands. The Holy Ghost can, people can, want, some people, when soon they get baptized, they come out of the water, speaking in tongues. The Holy Ghost can come in different ways at different times, but it's all about faith. It's all about expectation to receive the gift. If I tell you that I have $100 for you, you're not going to hesitate whether or not you're going to take it. You're going to take it right away. That's, that's a gift. The same thing with the Holy Ghost. It's a gift from God. We just have to have our hearts and our minds in a place to receive the gift. And that comes through faith. Believing that 
I'm going to be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost because it says, yes. it doesn't say that you might receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It says you shall receive oh, no. the gift of the Holy Ghost. So that is a definite. So there's no, there is no question of whether or not you, whether or not you can receive the Holy Ghost. You can receive the Holy Ghost. We just have to have faith to receive the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Yes. Because once again, faith moves the Father. And when he, when he sees our faith, then, then he will allow the Holy Spirit to come upon us. And then we will the evidence of the Holy Ghost is the speaking of tongues. And that's what they did on the day of Pentecost. They were tearing. They were waiting. And they had faith because um, Jesus told them to go and tarry until you be endued with power. So they had, they were all, they already, he already told them what was going to happen. They just had the faith to believe that it was going to happen. And when they tarried and they had an expectation, then it happened. Praise the Lord. So that's how faith works. We have to have that expectation and have a definite belief to know that the faith that's going to move the Father is going to bring is going to bring about a word. Praise the Lord. Praise and it. let's go to Peter chapter 2. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. In verse 24. First, I second. Let me see. <laughs> okay, let's go to John. I'll come back to Peter. Let's go to John 20. Verses 25 through 29. And it reads, The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, This is talking about Thomas, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. Oh and after eight days again, his disciples were with them, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, yes. and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Yes. Then said he to Thomas, Reach thither thy hand, and behold thy hand, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, yes. and be not faithless, but believing. Right. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Yes. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believed. Praise the Lord. Praise right, right, right. So, this is what I was saying. You don't have to see it to believe it. Right. Thomas, he had to, and Jesus knew it. That's why he told him, told him to do it. He told him, he said, press, press thy hand and my, reach in my side yeah. and push thy finger in my hands because he knew he knew what Thomas was thinking he knew Thomas was doubting but he said because thou hast seen me thou hast believed then he said blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe so when we see when we have to see to believe like I said that's not faith when we don't see and yet believe in the hard things. You know, because sometimes things come and it's like, 
we don't know whether or not it's going to go to, we don't know whether or not we want to make it through. But we just have to have that faith to believe. Yes, yes. Um, we had a circumstance, you know, we going through a circumstance with the house, with my dad's house, with switching it over. And it was a lot, it, it's a lot of <laughs> red tape when it comes to doing things like that. And it was a lot of back and forth. And I was just like praying. My husband and I, we were just praying. I'm like, God, we leaving it in your hands. We're going to let you work everything out. We're going to let you um, work everything out. We had to get a, um, a appraisal. And, and the guy came. And then we had to do certain things. And the uh, appraiser came on a Saturday. And then the guy called me back on Monday. He said, is the work done? I said, so fast. I said, no, it's not, it's not done. He said, and he was like pushing us and pushing us. And I'm like, God, we got, we have to get this done. It's just me and God saying, how are we going to we gonna get this done? So we, we was working hard. And then towards the end, we had one of the projects. We, it, it was too much for both of us. So we had to call somebody in at the last minute to get the work done. But through it all, God saw us through because it, the, um, the, that was the, fr uh, the Thursday. And the, um, God called me and said, is the work done? I said, it'll be done by the end of the day today. And so the, then the appraiser called the same Thursday. He said, I was told you the work was done. I said, it'll be done by tomorrow morning. <laughs> because I had to call the um, guy to come fix the dude, the ceiling. He said, I can do it, but I have to come back Friday morning to finish. I, I, so I told the prayer, I said, it'll be, it'll be done by tomorrow morning. He said, well, I'm coming tomorrow. I said, okay. <laughs> so when he came, he checked everything. And Dante was working hard because they wanted us to they wanted us to even fill cracks in the sidewalk. Then Dante even went out there and did the cement and everything. And like, they wanted us to paint the, the shed. They wanted us to do a whole lot of stuff. And we was working hard. And so when he came on um Friday, he took all the pictures and he said, everything looks good. I'm just gonna submit this and we'll see what happened so I thank God because he allowed us he gave us the strength to do it and he made a way for it to get done even for the ceiling to get done when I called the guy he came at the, the last minute and he made a way for everything but through it all I thank God for my husband because he's, a, he's a, a praying man and he always says let's pray about it and when we pray we have to have back to faith, faith that moved the Father, so with faith to receive, so, and the process is still going on, so we still, we're still having faith that God is going to make a, um, continue to make a way for us and to, you know, that the payments won't be too much that we can't bear, and that God is going to work it out, because God, God is continuing to work it out and he I know I have faith that he's going to continue to work it out because he's been keeping us from since we were in the apartment and then moving into the house and now still with everything going on even with you know my husband how how he lost his job and he still God still made a way with that because he still gave him a, a source of income and even for the um the past the the couple of months that we had been staying because god worked it out that so even the, the couple months that we had been staying in the house up until now we didn't even have to pay anything because you know there was nothing to pay at that time but now you know so we changed it over but god is still i still believe that even after all of this God is still going to make a way for us to be able to get what we need to pay what we need when we need to do it. And I thank God for that. And I'm, every day as I'm 
go on about my daily life. Yeah. I, I thank God for increasing my faith. Hallelujah. Right. Because throughout this walk of life, you know, you don't know. Sometimes you could just be you going along and you things can just hit you like a railroad. Yeah. And you have to be, you know, sometimes it'll knock you down. But the, the scripture says, cast down but not destroy. Yeah. You know, sometimes we'd be like that palm tree in the in the um in the storm. It will it will go this way, and it will go that way, it, and it can bend all the way down, but it's gonna bounce back up. And so when we are rooted and grounded in God, when we put our faith and our trust in God, yes, yes. then he will Always, always, always make a way for us. That's called right now faith. When we believe, and I had to grow to get to that place, to, to have the right now faith. And I'm still growing. And when God gave me this word about the, the right now faith, I had to say to myself, okay, some things that is in my life, I have to speak, speak it into existence and, and, and not just say, oh, maybe or hopefully. I have to say, this is going to happen. Hallelujah. This is, that's how we have to do. Whatever, because the, script, the scripture says the power of life and death is in the time. So whatever you speak, you shall have. If you speak death to yourself, then that's what's going to come. If you speak life to yourself, then we're going to have life. And God wants us to have life. If we speak defeat, we're going to be defeated. And I and me, I believe that I know this word is for somebody else, but I think I believe God was giving this word to me for me to increase my faith yeah. about the situations that's going on in my life to know that I have to speak life. Right. That I have to be able to touch God and I have to be able to reach Him at any time. And when I speak the words of faith, that the things that I'm in expectation of will come to fruition. Right. We think about Abraham. Abraham and Sarah, but mostly Abraham, when he was told to get up and go, he he didn't ask any questions. He just got up and he went. He left his kindred, and Abraham is blessed. Even um, Abraham, even Sarah, in the beginning, you know, she laughed, but she got herself together, and she, you know, they they had a child. But when we want to increase our faith, in order for our faith to activate, yes. there's some things that we have to do. And number one is, we have to receive the word. Right. We have to receive the word. When the word comes, we have to receive it. Yes. Whether it comes through the prophet, whether it comes through the word itself, we have to receive the word yes. and we have to believe it. That's where the faith comes in. We have to believe the word. And once we receive the word, then we believe the word. Then we can't look at our circumstance, the circumstance around us. Because well, if we look at the circumstance around us, then we won't believe the word. We won't believe what has been given unto us. The word, even the the word of God. I'm not. I'm not just talking about a word of knowledge. I'm talking about the actual word yes. of God that we have to put into our spirits. We yes. have to believe it. Every single thing that's in this Bible yes. was written for us, and right. we have to believe it. We cannot look at our circumstances because if, if we look at our circumstances, we won't believe any of it. Because the circumstances around us can be looking bleak and we're getting a word and we're saying, well, look what's going on. Yes. Look what's going on here. Look what's going on there. 
but we can't do that. We have to keep our eyes on Jesus. And when we keep our eyes on Jesus, then everything is going to be all right. We will, we will have that right now faith. Yes. And once we receive the word, yeah. believe the word, don't look at our circumstances, then the last thing we have to do is give God the praise. You say, how can I give God the praise? As our pastor always says that no matter what the circumstance is, give God the praise. When you praise God in your situation that doesn't look so good, you confuse the enemy. Elder Lily always says that, he always says that. You confuse the enemy, and the enemy doesn't know what's going on. So that's what we have to do. Even, that's, that's faith. Even in a circumstance or situation that does not look like there's any coming out of it, yes. that it looks bleak, we have to give God the praise. praise. Even if it's a sacrificial praise. The sacrificial praise, that means you don't you you probably come came to church, you didn't feel like it, you don't, you just press, you just you just pressed your way to church. You just made your way to church. You didn't even want to come to church, but you pressed your way to church. Because you know, even though you didn't want to come, you know that it's a blessing in the house of the Lord. So while you're here, as you made the press, you might as well give God some praise. Because when the praises go up, then the blessings are going to come down. That is not, that's a guarantee. That's another guarantee. When the praises go up, the blessings will definitely come down. So real faith says, um, that if I believe it, it's going to happen. Right now, faith. The faith that touches the Father. The faith that moves the Father. Yeah. We have to have that kind of faith. Yes, we have the hope, and we are still looking for the blessed hope, but let us differentiate between faith and hope. The right now faith is the faith that you exercise. Like Sister Athel said, sometimes God will tell us to do some things and it may seem strange. It may seem strange, but in our obedience, in our obedience, that's where the blessing comes. And you never know what God is doing through your obedience, you don't ever know what doors have been shut, yes. what had God has um, protected you from. You don't know what God is doing. Yes. Like um, my husband always says that you know when when we pray, we got we pray in the spirit. We don't know what's going on in the spirit realm when we're praying in the spirit. We could be praying for somebody way over in Israel that we don't even know what's going on with that person. But when we yield ourselves to the spirit and we're praying, God is doing the work in the atmosphere. All we have to do is yield ourselves to the spirit. And when we yield ourselves to the Spirit, we will always touch God. He will always hear us. And we, He will always move on our behalf. So we have to have that right now faith to believe that God is going to move and that God is going to do the work. Don't be like Dalton Thomas. He had to see it before he believed it. And if we have to see it before we believe it, that's not faith. If we have to see it before we believe it, that's not faith. Yes, yes. The woman that had the issue of blood for 12 long years, we have to take from her example. Sometimes our situation can go on longer than we think it should. That's right. That's right. 
and we have to have the mindset to know that if God has taken us through it, it's for a reason. But we, at, while we're going through it, we go through it with the faith believing that God is taking care of us. Amen? Amen. So it's just like when we, when it's just like if we have uh, with Paul, with Paul, when he, when he said he had the thorn in his flesh and he asked God to remove the thorn in his flesh. And what did God tell him? My grace, My grace is made sufficient for you. Yes, yes, yes. So Paul had to endure that. Yes. But he knew that God was giving him grace to endure. Yes. Amen? Yes. So we have to know that God gives us grace to endure. But in due season, when we have that, when it's our time, God is going to move on our behalf. Just like when um, Jairus with his daughter, he knew, he didn't ask, he didn't say to Jesus, oh, my daughter might be healed. He said, if you come, when you come, she's going to be healed. Because he heard about the miracles that Jesus had been doing. So we have to have that kind of faith to know that, Lord, when you, when you step into my situation, God, I'm going to move myself out of the way because my mind doesn't think the way God thinks. I'm going to move myself, my carnal self out of the way, and I'm going to give it over to God. And when I give it over to God, He is going to do work on my behalf. All we have to do is touch the Father with our faith. And when we touch the Father with our faith, that right now faith, that instantaneous faith, we will be delivered. I don't have too much more to say. I'm not, I don't have, I didn't have a long word, but I just wanted to leave the words of encouragement that God gave to me that when we have faith that moves the Father, He will work on our behalf. Yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Praise when, we, when we touch God, when we, when we move in the Spirit and touch God, a change has to come. Just like the woman with the issue of blood. It says straightway she, her um, issue was dried up. So when we touch the Father, instantaneously, our situations, God is going to make a way for us. Yeah. God is going to hear us. God is going to step into our situation. God is going to move on our behalf because he's our Father. It's just like the natural father. When a natural father, a uh, mother sees their child in despair, they come right away to that child and to see what's going on with that child. When that mother hears that cry, that child's cry, they come straight away to see what's going on and to, and to, to see what can they do to um, help the child to stop crying because something is going on. And that's how we are to Christ. We're his children. So when we call for him, he will answer because he we are his children. And so he wants to make sure that his children are okay. But we have to do something as well. We have to believe. We have to believe the word. Receive the word. And don't look at our circumstance. And once we do all those things, we praise God in advance because we know that he's going to do what he said he's going to do. I'm finished. And if, if take anything away from what I said, my words of encouragement, know that we have to have the right now faith because it's the right now faith that moves the Father. You continue to pray for me in Jesus' name.
in words. Uh, indeed, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Put your hands together again and give the Lord a praise for those words. Give God a praise for those words. I just want to say something just to add to what she has uh, just said. Do you remember 10 lepers came to Jesus? Now watch, watch how faith works. Ten lepers came to him to be healed yes. of their leprosy. In those days, um, nobody wants to touch anybody that has leprosy because it was contagious. However, Jesus said to them, go show yourself to the priest. Yes. When Jesus said, go show yourself to the priest, it's not because Jesus was afraid to touch them, but Jesus was testing their faith. Uh -huh. Oh Lord, give God a praise in the house. Hallelujah. We're talking about faith just a while ago. Jesus wants to test their faith. Yes, yes. So he said, go show yourself to the priest. Yes. Did you know they didn't ask Jesus any question? They didn't ask him, why should we go show ourselves to the priest? We came to you. But Jesus said, go show yourself to the priest. And the reason for that is, in those days, everybody had leprosy. If that leprosy, amen, bless God, is not tested or if it's not been, if you're healed, the priest has to give you the right of way right. that you are healed. Jesus healed her what the doctors could not do. 
Praise God. We believe in for this young lady. We believe in for her in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You know, the, the, the people are talking about Hamas invading Israel and Israeli war. You know, when, when, when Russia invaded Ukraine, I, I said, I said, you know, before it extended this far, before, you know, that, that you know, Russia thought they were just going two or three days and come out with a victory. The Lord said, this could lead, even extended to the Middle East. It could extend it. And, and it's, the, it's really developing that way. And, you know, which, which, what's going on in Israel right now? And what's going on in Ukraine? And the, the, the military people are talking about World War Three. The political people are talking about World War Three. Even the religious people are talking about World War Three. There are other wars all over: Somalia, Libya, you know, uh, Nigeria. So there's there's war down in South America. There's war all over. But these two wars are very significant. It could easily move into a nuclear war that extends into, you know, the top of World War I, World War II. It was a world war because all the nations were involved, but all the nations were not involved in the actual conflict on their side, including America. But World War III, Europe is going to be devastated. America is going to be devastated. Other countries are going to be devastated. We're going to be ready, saints. We're going to be ready. And we, 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 I'm not saying it's going to erupt. That day, but we know it's coming. We know it's coming. We, we, but but the, the, the precursor of what's going on in Israel and Ukraine is, 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 is a, a, an example of it might, this might be it, but if this is not it, it's an example of what will erupt and bring forth World War III, nuclear war. And then, you know, they said the man has never made a, a, a weapon that he hasn't used. <laughs> and so we, 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 we must be ready. We must be ready. Ready for whatever is coming. But God's protection over us. Just, and I appreciate missionary uh, green away you know uh, uh, testimony about uh, anointing the entrance to your school and, and, and see the outcome you know when, when we say anoint our house anoint our, uh, the church anoint the outside when when trouble comes you know, you know God can protect us God can protect our homes no matter what is going on he can protect the church really because that time people will run into church. They're going to run. They're going to run crying out, what must we need to be saying? And you know, they tell me. So thank God for each and every one of you to, uh, that, uh, that are here and tonight and, uh, and to, uh, today. And let's pray and believe for the sister. Believe that her heart is good ground. That she can go, go and bring forth fruit unto the Lord. Amen. We want to follow up with her. And we have those two children. We want to follow up with her. Follow up with her. Amen. If we even have to go to her house to visit her, uh, to, to a couple of you know, uh, men and, and uh, women, and, uh, uh, go to her house, pray with her in her house uh, one day, and, uh, encourage her to come out uh, Tuesday and, and Sunday. Amen. To, to worship and to hear the word, to grow. She needs to get the Holy Ghost. She needs to get the Holy Ghost. So we pray that her heart will be good ground. Thank God for the lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. 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 All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how the people are talking about taking a trip to Israel. <laughs> yeah, but here's some. Uh, uh, if you don't have a passport, it's good to have a passport anyway. If, if, if you don't have a passport and you want to apply for a passport, I may have some applications. If you want to take an application, amen. I'm going to 
put it, put it out in there if you want it right now. Anyone want the application right now? <laughs> you, all right. Yeah, come help, help me here around. Yeah, somehow. Yeah. Yeah. And to, for those who want. And, and then we, we, we'll put it out there in the front where you, where you can assist uh, Sister Gator. Gator. Sister Gator. Amen. It's, it's, it's good to have a passport because uh, if you, if you go in anywhere, that's good, good piece of identification. No telling the Lord will have you travel someplace. Praise the Lord. Let us, let us continue to work together. Amen. Be, be one in, in the body of Christ, the church of the living God. Be what God wants us to be. Holy Lord. Before Him. Sons of God. As many as receive Jesus Christ and gave me power to become the sons of God. Give to them that believe on His name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us stand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your presence with us today, Lord. Thank you thank for you, your Lord. presence. Yeah. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus, just keep filling us up with your spirit. And those that have not yet been baptized, Lord, pray that you baptize them with the Holy Ghost. We pray right now for Sister Heather. Lord, and, and, and uh, Antoine, and, and Ian, and London, and Journey, Lord God, we pray for their stability, O shine that on our side. We pray, holy God, encourage them, Lord, encourage them, encourage them. Make ways for them, Jesus. Open doors for them. Bless them, Lord. Fill them with the Holy Ghost power. God, and give them that they have good ground. Lord, to bring forth fruit, Lord God. Amen. Teach them of your way. Continue to teach them of your way. Continue to help them to believe, Lord God. So touch them right now. Strengthen them and encourage them right now, we pray. Bless this young lady, Lord, that has gone down in your name. We pray that the, 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 she, she should have been cleansed. She will be have, have, have been cleansed from all sickness, from all disease, from all sin. Because you fill her with the Holy Ghost, Lord. Yes, Lord. with the Holy Ghost power. Hallelujah. Anoint us to be servants of yours, Lord, to be ministers of yours, Holy God Almighty. Echo of our side, O Shanda side. Lord God, even throughout this week, God, anoint us to be ministers of yours, to minister, to let your kingdom be revealed in the earth. That you will be revealed in the earth and done in the earth as it has been done in heaven. Bless every home. Bless, bless those that are absent today, Lord. Well, well, you know the reason why. Encourage them also. We pray that your presence that I hear, it will be with them. We pray, Lord God, that amen. all of us will continue to put your first place in our life. That your kingdom will come first and seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto us. So help us to continue to seek your kingdom work diligently. In Jesus' name we pray. For Jesus' sake, everybody says, Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us. Be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Greet somebody.